trying to get this angle right, you guys. So, hello, hey, hi, how's everybody doing? I'm on today to dress a baby, you guys. This is Jersey. That's the name that I gave her. But this kit is the sold out limited edition sculpt by Alicia Toner. Um, it's called Air Lease. And she has rolls for days, y'all. She is like the cutest little chunk. Um, I love this kit because of the hands. And also because of the lips. The lips on this kit are so adorable. And she's just so stinking cute. Her little cheeks and her little facial expression. So y'all, I know. Go ahead, judge me. She has on <laughs> still a summer romper, y'all. I have so many babies in my nursery that I don't get around all the time to dressing everybody at one time. But I try to get around whenever I can. So we are going to change this fat mama into something different. So let's see. I have a little outfit that I bought not too long ago. And then I have several different shoes that I'm not for sure exactly which ones we're going to use. But I'm going to throw them all right there. She's going to wear this Carter's three month romper set. It uh, comes with these really nice peachy pink um tights and then the top is like well it's not a top it's like a romper it's black it has these cute little faux wooden buttons has this beautiful floral print on it and then also has this matching headband so this is what she is going to put on today and like i said i had several options of shoes right here so i'm not for sure what we're going to do as far as shoes go. Now, I haven't dressed her in a while. Okay, she has a disposable on. Hmm. Do we need another disposable or should we do a... Hmm. Because I don't want this to... We can get her another disposable. Just going over here to grab one. I think this one will be fine. How has everybody been doing? I have been doing really, really good. I, um, of course, have been busy. That's um, <laughs> first, and, first and foremost, being full-time employed and having still children in the house. So, you know, I am a busy bee. I'm going to try to see if I can get over here so that I can get her change without knocking the camera. Um, we're going to take this hair bow off. She definitely needs her hair done because it is a hot mess, isn't it, mama? She yes, mama. It's a hot mess. Also, um, FYI, this baby was created by uh, Sandra Stanley of... Put her name on the screen here, you guys. She was actually one of her first um, ethnic babies that she created. And I think she did an awesome job on this baby. She's so, so sweet. So sweet. And so chunky. Damn, I'm so chunky, mama. Yeah. She's super chunky. Mm -hmm. Give me this fat girl. Let's see. I really didn't have much to talk about today. I'm trying to stay away from negativity, you guys. 2024, like in the doll community, just kind of went left real fast. And I'm just trying to mind my own doll business, not really get too much into the politics of things because... This is my happy place, and I'm not reading too much into anything. Um, I'm not trying to ruin my experience for myself, and I mean, like I said, people are reading into things too much nowadays and making things into stuff that they definitely are not, but to each his own, we let people feel they what, the way they want to feel. We can't really change people's minds on too many things but I stand with myself on my beliefs and my thoughts I don't need a 
whole bunch of people behind me to do that. I just never been that type of person to follow the crowd. I kind of just do my own thing, you know, um, and whatever resonates with people on my channel, then it does. If it doesn't, you know, they don't subscribe. They don't watch. Not a big deal at all. We all have our different ways of viewing the world and viewing things so, you know, I stay out of the politics of things because it's just, it's just getting to be too much. It's ridiculous. Like, I have yet to see. <laughs> Can somebody point me in the direction to where these contracts were made overseas um, with these um, stolen scopes? I mean, I honestly really want to see that, you guys. Like, if you guys have that proof, anybody, <laughs> everybody who's said these things, I would love to to see those contracts. I would love to see that public information because um, it's pure speculation <laughs> if you don't have proof. So, I mean, I'm not going to come on here and talk about something that I don't have proof about, so... I mean, I just want to see it because I hear it a lot that that's what happened, that people made deals overseas and they have, they're making money from being duplicated by these companies. So anybody who has that information, can you please slide it my way? Because I would love to see it. I want to stay on top of everything just like everybody else in the community. And I mean, I keep hearing this statement being made and I just want to see it because I haven't seen it yet. Not in any of the groups that I follow on Facebook or Instagram. I haven't seen anybody made a video yet with actual receipts to prove that these um, sculptors are or created these contracts to allow their scopes to be massively produced and duplicated as fakes but yeah that's just something that I want to see like I'm not I just want to know what I'm talking about and have the whole backstory and facts she looks so cute in this before I open my mouth you know that's the type of person I am now we have these ones you guys they don't really match but it kind of you know brings some balance to the whole little thing I also have these ones and then we have two other options I don't know but yeah, I would love to see that proof. I hear, like I said, a, a, a lot of that going on. And I just want to take a gander at it myself. Let's try on one of these and one of the, like, taupe looking ones. And see which one Mama likes the best. Oh, I think I like the taupe ones, you guys. I don't know if you, yeah, you guys can see that. Super cute. So I think we're going to go with those. The pink on pink is just like too, too much pink. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do the taupe ones. There we go. Oh. Yeah, mama has to do something to your head. So y'all know I have to do that off camera because I'm very, very particular about my baby's hair. And I hate when they put these big old tags on here. Like, why? For what? Let me cut this off. Well, I want to see how it looks on her head first. Let's see. Let's see that before we cut it off. It's a little twisted. Oh my goodness. 
Well, aren't you gorgeous? Yes, y'all. We're going to put this all together. Hold on. So there she goes, y'all, with her hair done. Now, her hair is super, super curly. So it kind of takes me a little bit of a minute to kind of get it to lay down. Now, that does not mean that she has bad mohair. Her bow hair is phenomenal. I really, really love it. I love the fact that it is curly because um, I that was the vision that I was going for with this baby, with this artist. So she picked an amazing curly hair, but um, it just takes a while for it to get that straight look. And then eventually when it dries, it'll have like some waves in it. So it'll still have that curly effect, which I adore and I love. So let's get a close up of her before we go. And it is getting dark, you guys. We are losing light. But there goes y'all's niece, Jersey. I think she looks super adorable in this outfit. Uh, I just love her in it. And like I was talking about y'all, her hands. They're like one of my favorite features about this sculpt. And then the yips. Them adorable lips. So anyways, I don't want to take up too much more of you guys' time. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And we will talk to you guys soon. Peace and blessings, won't we? Yes, ma'am. Bye, y'all.